Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and are you being annoyed by the local security authority message coming up on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 installation? If so, keep watching and I'll show you how to get rid of it. Okay, so in today's video, we're taking a look at the new bug, which appears to be affecting a lot of Windows 10 and Windows 11 machines. Uh, this is related to the local security authority protection, which you may find in your Windows Defender or your little icon at the bottom of the screen. There is a exclamation mark or a warning triangle to say that there's something wrong with your Windows security. Now, don't worry too much. Everything is actually okay. It is basically a bug in one of the recent updates to uh, Windows, which has basically broken the reporting section. So your L-A-S-S-S -S -S -S, may still be working, it should still be working, and it's just basically the uh, UI is reporting that it isn't. But don't worry, it's a relatively straightforward fix. Now, there's actually three things you can do to fix it, uh, one of which we'll be going over in detail in the video, and there's also links in the video description so you can go through it. If you don't want to watch this video, just copy and paste the stuff in the uh, description and you'll be a-okay. Alternatively, you can, if you want to, just click on dismiss. Restart the computer and it'd be absolutely fine it still will be working in the background and you should still be protected. Alternatively, you can do a fresh install, not the best of things. Or another thing you can do is just simply wait for a Windows update fix or a hotfix to actually patch it so that the UI basically reports it correctly. But if you wanna do the last one and that is actually try and fix it yourself with a little bit of tweaking in the registry, then uh, let's carry on. Now, obviously this is gonna be working in the registry. So first things first, do a system restore point, back up your registry, all those usual kinds of things. Once you're done, we can head over to the computer and get started. Okay, so this is the Windows Security tab, and as you can see, we've got, if we go into the bottom here, you've got the triangle exclamation mark there saying Windows Security, Actions Recommended. And if you go into Device Security, you'll find this section here. So the Local Security Authority Protection, which essentially just kind of uh, hashes, actually, how can I explain this? It's a very rudimentary way of basically securing your login credentials, etc., which are held in the SAM. So LSA works in conjunction with SAM to protect your user details, etc., and to prevent them being opened by brute force attacks. So if someone tries to steal your credentials, the LSA is basically a kind of interim measure to prevent that from happening. Anyway, with that said, like I said, you can just click on dismiss and everything's gonna be fine. You can see it's actually on. It just says there that it isn't, even though clearly it is. You can try to turn it off and turn it back on again. That may fix the problem, do a reboot, etc. Like I said, you can also wait for Windows updates to see if that fixes it itself. Even actually a system restore. If you roll back a little bit from the previous update, you may find it goes away, but obviously if you update again, then it is gonna come back. But the last thing we wanna do is to go through and actually make the changes. So I'm gonna close this window here. I've actually got the instructions on a Word document, which I'll be cutting and pasting into details underneath, so you can go through and do those. But we can go through and actually do this now. So I'll put that to one side, so we can actually see it. And let's go ahead and do what it actually says. So first thing is do, uh, click on Start, and type in regedit, and open up the registry editor. You'll come up with the user account control, so click yes for that. Move this down a little bit so we can see it. Okay, so there we go. So, what we wanna do is head over to this key here, which is computer, H key local machine, system, current control set, control and LSA folder, which you can see we've already navigated to, so you can just go through and find it. So when you're in the LSA folder, go to the right-hand side, somewhere over here, and right click and choose new and then D word 32 bit value. You'll find then you've got a new value and we can rename this now. So rename it as run capital R as capital A PPL or uppercase then capital B O O T. So run as PPL boot. Once you've done that, double click the entry and leave it on hex decimal and set your value as two. And there we go, that's done. So that should actually fix it. So you can close that down, reboot the system, and you should find the error goes away. If for some reason it doesn't, you may find there is another registry entry which is missing, which is this one here at the bottom. So run as PPL, 
I think I've actually got it here. So yeah, there we go. We've already got that. And the value you can see there is already two. So hexadecimal value, value two. So if you haven't got run as PPL actually here, just do the same thing again. So right click, choose new, D word, 32 bit value, call it run as PPL, and then edit it and call it value two. Once you've done that, you can close down all this and we'll reboot the system. I'll do this now just so you can see what it looks like. So we'll do restart and when it comes back up, the error should be gone. Okay, so there we go. By the magic of video editing, we've rebooted the PC. It takes a little bit longer with the AM5 system, but that's another story. So it all works and we've got rid of the error message. The LSASS is working and functioning as it should do. So your credentials are safe or at least as safe as you can be these days on the internet. So that is it. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, smash that like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, then hit subscribe and the channel notification and you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.